Hey everyone, it's your girl Manavia. I'm back with you on another video about gua sha stones. Gua sha stones are absolutely amazing for waking up the facial muscles and as well wrinkles and fine lines and it also helps with the collagen production and elasticity and keeping the skin looking absolutely young. This is also a Chinese uh, technique that a lot of Chinese actually do. They also call it scraping technique where they scrape the forehead, the face, they also scrape the, the body and it just helps for removing any sort of fat cells or production that needs to be lifted for elasticity and collagen. So as you can see, I've already prepped my skin. I've already cleansed it with a nice cleansing milk from Prana Spaceuticals. And as well, I have put a organic Shea Butter moisturizer on my skin that I actually made myself. And I put that on my skin so I can actually just keep my skin hydrated. And now I'm gonna show you guys a few gua sha techniques using the gua sha stone. While using the flat side of the gua sha stone, I'm actually just going upwards on my jawline so I can actually just make it very soft and smooth and prevent any jowls and as well as a double chin or anything like that. So I keep passing a couple of times. I do recommend passing at least let's say 30 to 40 times um, if you really want to see great results. You can also do this during the morning, you can do this at night whatever is preferable for you and uh, this is how I started off and enjoy the rest of the video and follow my techniques and you can always go from one side to the other and keep going so keep watching
so glad that I got to post this video by the gua sha stone technique. Hope you guys had fun watching this and go home and like do the gua sha stone on your face. You're gonna see such amazing results and amazing uplifting techniques and I really loved using this. It was really really nice. I recommend using this every single day. It is a great technique for facial massages and as well as uplifting the facial muscles and just giving a nice stimulation of collagen and elastin and you know I find the areas that were a little bit harder to like push with the gua sha stone especially if it felt like it was a bit bumpy that's when I knew that those are the areas that are gonna affect me when I'm older okay so let's say around the actual jawline I feel like it was a little bit more bumpy so this is an area that I need to just be careful with I have to keep it uplifted and I find that like when I gain weight or anything like that it's easy for me to just get like a nice double chin so I need to just make sure that I'm focusing on this area so I don't get any jowls and as well I found that my forehead was another area that got pretty bumpy when I was actually passing the washer stone so for sure this is an area that I would need to like keep scraping with the gua sha stone just to flatten it out and I think this is an area that's so easy for me to just get wrinkles as well as I'm going to start aging. So I would say that wherever you feel anywhere that's really super bumpy when you're actually passing the gua sha stone, I would say to keep passing there as much as you can over and over. Other areas too on the face but especially the ones that were feeling super bumpy. So I would say focus on that. You know that's your main goal and if you guys have like a, a jade roller go with a jade roller whatever you prefer as a type of stone just to help with the face and the scraping technique but I definitely recommend the gua sha stone thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and don't be afraid to follow me on Instagram at Minavia underscore spa for new things and to keep updated about new videos thank you so much for watching Bye.